another episode of Random Game Review. Let's get things started. Today I'm going to be reviewing one of my all-time favorite series. It's on the Neo Geo, it's been put on the PS2, you can download them, great game. We're going to start off with Metal Slug. This is a sweet game. You should try this one out, you'll love it. I don't remember how many there are total, I think like seven. But it's sweet. Let's play. Basically you're just this dude that gets to just mow over everybody. You get these upgrades too. Or better guns, if you want to call them that. You get medals for saving prisoners of war. This game's badass. Oh, and you get this tank too. This game's for if you just like, if you just want to pop something in and mow over everybody. Oh shit. This was originally a uh, an arcade game, but it plays real nice on the uh, home consoles. Look at that, you just blow shit up. Your grenades are your best friend in this game. This game does get addicting. You always want to see how much chaos you can cause and how many dudes you can mow over. Not every metal slug is the same. Sometimes you're... I mean, you're mostly always fighting other soldiers, but sometimes you fight zombies, sometimes you fight aliens. But we're going to focus on one right now. But I definitely recommend this one. It's on the PS2. You can get digital downloads of it. It's been ported to some home consoles. It was originally for the Neo Geo, which is a very expensive system. But this game makes it worth it. Oh, by the way, when you get the shotgun in this game, you are unstoppable. The shotgun is like the strongest weapon. Check this out. This blows everybody away. Blows away their houses. Yes. Blows them into smithereens. Fuck you! Yeah, but this is Metal Slug. I'm gonna do a playthrough of every single Metal Slug on my channel. I've already done a couple. But this is a must get. I mean, this game is awesome. So much chaos. Awesome boss battles, too. Awesome boss battles. This one's definitely a 10 out of 10. You know the game show, Deal or No Deal, the one with the briefcases? Yeah, they got a game for that. It's straightforward, it's simple, and that's why I like it. Let's check it out. First you gotta sit through this scrolling page telling you that you're not gonna win any money when you play this game. Deal or No Deal. I can't believe there's actually a two-player, but for the video's sake, let's do single. I never tried any of these modes, but I always like to do the TV game. Hello, and welcome to Deal or No Deal. I'm Howie Mandel, and 
this evening, you could walk away with a huge cash prize. In order to do that, you're going to have to be lucky, gutsy, and have a great sense of time. Now I think it's time I introduce you to my better half. Actually, 26 of my better half. It's not really skipping. It's the audio in the game doesn't know if it wants to talk or clap. So when you first start off the game, you get to pick your case just like you do in the show. Uh, let's say I'm gonna pick uh, lucky number 13. Now this is your case. You so it's just like the show. You pick a case. I'll demonstrate. It's pretty sweet. I like it. I'll pick nine. And then they check it off the board. Yes! You have five more cases to open. Get used Take to this case. guy's dialogue because you're going to hear it a lot. This is basically what the game is, is picking cases. You just don't want to get the high amounts, just like on the show. Yes! Yes! You have four more cases to open. Pick a case. He always has his hands together like he's an evil villain or something. I'm actually doing really good on this game, and I'm not even trying it. Open. But then again, what's there to try? You just pick cases. It's basically just a game of luck, to be honest with you. Oh, shit! Damn it! That's what you don't want to do. Or you gotta hear this shit. Wow, that hurts. That really hurts. You have one more case to open. But yeah, it's just like the show. Basically, you pick cases, hope you don't hit the high amounts, and at the very end, you get to choose between the one case up there or yours. It's pretty slick. I definitely, uh, for what this game is, I'd give it like a 8. Because this game's pretty sweet. I mean, this is something you could play anywhere. Absolute okay. badass game. Deal or no now, deal. You see the, the banker GBA. up there? That's the badass game show game. Room that doesn't want you to go home with a ton of money. You even get a phone call from the banker, just like in the show. He's gonna offer you a deal. I uh, usually always the refuse it. Let me ask you, deal or no deal? Yep, but deal or no deal, you should pick it up for the GBA. That's Game Boy Advance. Now I mentioned this game in my top five Sega games of all time. Well, it was one of the honorable mentions, but this game, it's awesome. It's for the Sega Genesis, it's called Chicky Chicky Boys. Weird name. Let's try it out. You're gonna love this one. So when you first start the game, you get to choose between two warriors. I don't know the difference between them. I always usually choose the blue guy. And you get to name them too. But don't worry, this isn't going to be one of those games where you walk up to people and just talk to them all day. This game is badass. When you defeat your enemies, you get like coins and you can turn them in for better weapons. This game is badass, but it does not play around. It gets pretty hard. 
You can trade these coins in for better weapons, so that's pretty sweet. You can always get better weapons. Some of these uh, treasure chests, they're little traps, though, like frogs. It's Sega. Anything can be an enemy. Boss battles are pretty sweet. Why does the princess look drunk? But yeah, like I said, once you get enough money, you can buy all this stuff. But Chicky Chicky Boys is sweet. It's like, this is the game that took a little bit of every other good game and just put a little bit of everything in it. Oh, crap. This game is tough, though. It's like this game didn't know what it wanted to be. It actually takes a little bit of every game that's sweet. But this is Chicky Chicky Boys for the Sega Genesis. Definitely a must buy. This game definitely gets a 10 in my opinion. This one's sweet. Chicky Chicky Boys, I could play this game all day long if it wasn't so damn hard. In the 90s, we loved gigantic robot thingies. We had Power Rangers, we had Voltron, oh yeah. And even when I was a little kid, I remember, I was like, what the hell was that? We had Ultraman. I don't know, there was just something about people putting on colorful suits and jumping into big robots. It was awesome. You remember Ultraman? He got his powers from space and he gets this suit and he can hit a thing in the middle of his chest and he gets bigs and fights all these monsters. It was awesome. But the game, not so much. Let's check it out. This is Ultraman for the Super NES. Ultraman for the Super NES. I think I'm gonna barf. Look at that monster I'm about to fight. Nee! Yeah, let's do this. What the fuck? Sloppy ass punch. Hit! Hit! Look at this kick! His health keeps going back up and mine keeps going down. Yeah, take that. Come on, you fucking shit. Fuck, come on! Damn! The rest of the chance? It's so hard to beat him. Well, I can't even get past the first guy. Oh, you fucker. Die, die, die. Please die, please die. I know I can do it. Come on. It says he's finished. Why is he still getting back up? What the fuck? I killed him and he got back up. Now he's regaining health again. It said he was finished. Finish him! This is Mortal Kombat. I fucking hate this game sometimes. The rest of the chance. I can't even get past the first fucking guy, even though I had his ass beaten. He was done. It said finish him. See, finished. And he won't die. Oh my god, quit fucking wagging your tail. An Ultraman, I don't think can jump. I don't think he can. What the hell is that? 
Yeah, suck that. Oh, I only get so much of that. See, finished. Finished. Now finish him. Die. Die. Please die. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. Oh my god, so Fuck you! <laughs> this guy won't die! At least game over is spelled right. You think that was bad. This is one of the worst fucking games I have ever played in my life. I want to kill this game. Swamp Thing on the NES. Swamp Thing can't punch while he's crouching, so you can't punch this thing. Who's going to know this health is all the way back here? This thing's hard as hell to get over. Ugh. This is Swamp Thing on the NES. It is hard as hell to stay alive. It took me forever to figure out how to get over that first dude. Swamp Thing's so slow. And you have to jump over all your enemies. Oh, shit. This game's hard as fuck. Oh, oh no. Fuck, I'm already dead. Come on, Swamp Thing! I can't even make it through this first part. Even if you're quick enough, you're still gonna take damage. Hey! Hi! Oh, shit! Hi! Hi! He! He! I'm almost there! Come on! He! He! Oh! I almost made it. This is Swamp Thing. This game's hard as hell. Swamp Thing for the NES. <laughs> well, thanks for watching the random game review. I have a lot more games to review, but uh, stay tuned. Keep watching. Like and subscribe for more, and I'll be playing a lot more games. Oh, yeah. Some shitty, some good, and everything in between. Like and subscribe for more. Thanks a lot.